case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1951, the Colorado Supreme Court heard the case of Golden Press, Inc. v. Rylands, which centered around property encroachment and deciding whether the offending structure should be removed or compensation provided to the property owners. The plaintiffs, Rylands and Reed, alleged that Golden Press had built a building on their property without permission, causing the foundation and footings to extend onto their land. Further, Golden Press's construction and business operations led to additional trespassing and damages to the plaintiff's property. Initially, the court granted a mandatory injunction for the removal of the encroaching structures and directed Golden Press to ensure drivers remained on solely their property. However, Golden Press challenged the injunction, arguing that it lacked clarity and sufficient evidence. The court was then tasked with considering the specific circumstances of the case before issuing the mandatory injunction. In the end, the Colorado Supreme Court decided that the encroachment was minimal, with the footings projecting just two, 3.5 inches over the property line, and that the cost of removal would far outweigh any benefit to the plaintiffs. Consequently, the court reversed the injunction and allowed the plaintiffs to pursue damages instead, remanding the case for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.